What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today we are going to be talking about the current spot price and the trends and things like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so Platinum right now is in a good spot, in my opinion. And I wanna talk about that a little bit, and I wanna talk about just the, the history, what I have experienced, what I have witnessed, and everything in that regard. Now, I have been stacking this stuff for well over a year. So I've been watching the spot price, I've been watching the trends, I've been watching everything going on in regards to Platinum. And I have seen what is going on currently before. And I wanna talk about that. So a lot of the silver guys, a lot of the gold guys are talking about, you know, where is everything gonna go? There's a lot of confusion, there's a lot of speculation, there's a lot of things going on right now. But in the platinum field, it's a little bit different. The story is a little bit different and things that are going on are a little bit different. And so I want to talk about that. So right now, spot price for platinum is floating somewhere close to 950. 940, 930, 960, whatever. It moves. We know it. We know it moves. We know it's going to continue to move. And we just know that's how spot price works. Now, I have seen what is going on currently before, okay? So we broke $1,000 in spot very recently. And I have seen that before. Matter of fact, I saw it right before March. We broke $1,000 on platinum before March, before everything went crazy. And so because I've seen that happen before, I know the same thing is happening right now. The $1,000 threshold is kind of like silver's $20 threshold. We need to break that $1,000 before we start seeing it go up. It has now broken it twice within the past year at two different general time periods, and it'll break it again. It just will. I know it will, and it's going to. Now, I wanna talk about what that means. So since before March, when we broke $1,000, it broke 1000 and then it went back below 1000 around 950 The same exact thing happened in recent times. We broke 1000 and we are back down to 950 So this is the normal trend for Platinum. Platinum is in a very normal state in the current state it is in. Its spot price is a very normalized area and where it floats. It can go down to 750 all the way to 850 that's the lower spectrum of things and that's where people like to be when they're buying but in regards to where it is right now it's in a very normal spot so all we need to do is break that thousand dollar threshold i think that thousand dollar threshold will be broken it's just a matter of guessing really when that's going to happen now because it's still in a normal area, in my opinion, I still think it's a good buy. It's a good time to get in while spot price is low. Yes, you'll pay a little bit of a premium. You'll always pay premium on platinum, but it's still a great time to get into platinum because it is in a normal market right now. It's not in a bull market. It is not skyrocketing like silver and gold. It's sitting at a very comfortable 950 average spot price. So a lot of people are kind of wondering, I'm sure, if you haven't gotten to up into platinum until this point in time, you're probably wondering, is it even a good time to get in? Should I get in? Should I buy? My opinion, yes. The hardest part about getting into platinum is getting past the 
stereotype that platinum has, which is it's only good for its industrial use. A lot of people believe that. A lot of people think that. It's and and in my opinion, it is very hard to get past that mindset that this thing is only as good as its industrial use allows it to be. In my opinion, I've talked about it in so many previous videos. There's so much more to this metal than just its industrial use. This metal had value before they started using it in cars, right? This metal was discovered hundreds of years ago. Cars were made barely a hundred years ago, right? I think the Ford Model T, the first mass-produced car, was made 1914 or something like that, so somewhere around there. So we're right at about a hundred years of cars. This stuff has only been used in cars uh, since the 70s, since they started regulating emissions in cars and catalytic converters that's when this stuff was used. But this stuff was valuable before cars. Why was it valuable before cars? Because people realized that it was a rare metal, just like gold and silver. And so they regarded it in that similar aspect as gold and silver. So it had value, and its value continued to increase regardless of the auto manufacturers. And I think between the 70s and now, we have gotten to a point with inflation where 750 is platinum's rock bottom. And so we hit that back in March. Well, it really went down to the 500s, high 500s for like a day. But we floated around the 750s and that's when everyone bought it up. And if you saw in my last video, the Platinum Eagle mintages, they minted the most in March. And so platinum will always have value regardless of its industrial use. I have seen this f pullback before. I've seen it break $1,000 before. I've seen it float at $950 before. This is a normal market for platinum. This is not a bull market. In my opinion, please take this as my opinion, but in my opinion, if you buy platinum now, you're not going to lose any substantial amount of money. That is just a straight up, you know, bull mindset, I guess. <laughs> and again, I want to caution. I'm not a financial advisor. I, I, I didn't go to school to be a financial advisor. I don't do that for a living. I just am sharing my opinion. But in my opinion, I have done tons of research. I have stacked a whole bunch of this stuff. And I just believe that Platinum is a very, very good asset to have. I think gold and silver are a good asset. I'm not a hater against gold and silver. I'm not against gold and silver by any means. I just think that platinum right now in the market that it's in is still a great buy. And I think that you really should consider picking some up if you don't have any and taking a closer look at it. I also want to encourage all of my followers, all of my viewers to do your own research. And I'm not just saying that because I haven't done my own research. I just want you to find out for yourself. I make these videos talking about platinum and my thoughts and things like that. I hope to spark interest in the metal and I also hope to spark people's interest and make them want to go out and do more research in regards to platinum. But yeah, guys, I've seen this before. I've seen where we're at before. I've seen the exact, basically the exact same thing happen before. And I know this is just the beginning. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, we will see ya.